10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. gentlemen of Namma Bengaluru and to everyone else who has joined us from other cities. This is your very own host Fauzia P. Khan and today we are here to unveil a residential project which is truly one of a kind. We welcome you all to the e-launch of Concord Orega where home feels like a breath of fresh air. As Orega offers you 90% of open spaces, surreal lake views and amenities that help you wind each day, every day. Conceptualized and developed by Concord, a prominent name in Bengaluru's real estate for 22 years, a brand that has been reimagining homes since 1998, is now ready to deliver the experiences for lives. Homes that deliver more and exceed your expectations. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to see what Concord Orega will offer you? So let us hear it from the people who imagined and crafted it. So ladies and gentlemen, with us we have Mrs. Rohini Bhagavadi who believes in the God is in the details of design. She is with us, the architect, the fabulous architect with Concord since 17 years. So now without any further ado, I would request her to join me so she can take you to the tour of Ticket to Orega and the design and architecture of Concord Orega. Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome here with her. Hello, Rubia. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thanks for the introduction. So, I would request you to please uh, take us through the tour of Ticket to Orega. Sure. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Yeah. Thank you for the introduction, Rubia. It was wonderful. Yeah. Uh, let's go straight on the presentation of Concord Orega. Yeah, it's been working with uh, Concord Orega for three, three and a half years now. So, it is like we have been doing a lot on the project and I've always believed that the lines of architecture talk about my design. But now that I got an opportunity to tell more about the project, 
I am very thankful for this presentation being handed over to me. So let's talk on the introduction of uh, Concord Orega. Uh, Concord Orega is a pentagon shaped uh, site that is located between K.R. Puram and uh, Maidhali, uh, very next to Yalamalapa Lake. So this project, uh, when Concord came up with the idea of having a project on this site, the first thing that came up to our mind was, it's a most happening location of Bangalore East. So with having this in mind, we wanted to add a skyline for, from, for the Concord branding. So keeping this in mind, first we came up with a concept of having uh, twin towers. So with twin towers, uh, what we meant was it's going to have an addition to the skyline. But as we developed it further, when we had to make two twin towers, we started feeling that the units are facing towards the inwards, which we again further redeveloped re and redeveloped to bring it to such a design now that it's a single tower, but still having two twin tower feeling at the, uh, at the corner of the project. So uh, as you see uh, in the slide, that's how the project looks like. And now I would like to detail it more and tell you getting into the explanation of the complete design. So as I said, uh, the location of uh, this project is ha the most happening area of the east of Bangalore. And uh, it's close to uh, Whitefield uh, and HRBR layout, Indranagar, Marathali. So it's a, it's a project designed for IT professionals, entrepreneurs, and young population who are in their 30s and 40s who would want to have a lot many things or the futuristic uh, detailing in the project. So keeping this in mind, we came up with the concept of having more of outdoor as well as the indoor designs. Keeping that, uh, what we started detailing of was, we came up with three L-shaped towers. Uh, the front two towers uh, being six units and the design coming up as an L-shape was the reason that we got five corner units and uh, the one straight unit which is facing the lake. The corner units we try to do more of three BHKs and the two BHKs in the center. Uh, the total project is around 6 lakhs uh, 14,000 square foot of super built up area and uh, we have around 238 uh, and uh, uh, 239 uh, 2 BHKs and 3 BHKs of each of uh, being uh, ranging from 1000 to 1300 and 1300 to 1800 respectively. With this what we started detailing was each unit in the design we went to detail in a way where we analyze the wind analysis, we analyze the sun path diagrams, we analyze the daylight factor for the whole units, towers, as well as the individual units, such that even the door, the windows, and all the other details in the project is so well thoughtful and placed in such a way that it is designed as a sustainable building. Uh, when we detail out into the shape and the concept and the tower details, as I mentioned, the L shape is giving us more of light, more of ventilation, and also more of the greenery surrounding the towers, which will give you more of uh, free air that circulates. And this makes the units more comfortable uh, to stay in. Uh, not only comfortable to stay in, just as a word to say, but uh, thermal, acoustical, as well as uh, uh, the uh, temperature factor that is being considered. So overall, it is a very comfortable, uh, uh, sustainable design that we have come up with. Uh, then I would like to detail out more on the site when we came up with the concept of L shape. Uh, the site is such that we have more of open spaces towards the northeast where it's towards the lake, having around 75 meters of buffer, which has ample number of amenities into the project. Uh, let it be your tree deck, let it be your uh, sports arena, let it be your uh, children's play area, let it be a kitty party area for the uh, ladies, let it be for the senior citizens. Everything is thoughtful and worked out. 
And when I come into the entrance, the drive-in and the uh, detailing for uh, uh, your um, entrance where we have a drop-off for each tower and uh, a gazebo which is designed so well uh, for them to have a small gathering outside the tower with a tower entry. Everything is very thoughtful and from there it gets into the basements. When we talk about the basements, we have around 501 units. So close to around 550 car parks is planned uh, at the basement. Below the towers, it is just one basement. And in the podium area, it is two level basements, which suffices for all the car parks. So keeping the top surface totally free from cars and you have a lot of greenery, a uh, lot of open air and a lot of oxygen to breathe through the project. I would like to detail more on the clubhouse, which is happening on the 23rd and the 25th floor, between 23rd and the 25th floor, where we have all the amenities from the entrance reception to multipurpose hall and your multipurpose hall having a dining area, outdoor, where you again extend into the pool and the pool deck. So it's a complete uh, uh, view from the pool deck where you have a complete uh, view of the Bangalore East skyline. Uh, which makes you feel more like a very royal and a very luxury lifestyle living. Having detailed out the complete project, I would like to summarize the project that it is around 90% of open spaces and 10% of the structure, both complementing each other. This is something which has been really worked out hard from Concord to the Bangalore East skyline. So I would like to present this to Bangaloreans. It's a ticket to Orega. Thank you, ma'am. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is the ticket to Orega from architect Rohini Bhagavadi. And yes, with that, I just have a quick question to ask you. The entire project, the slides that I have gone through. Uh, so, there's one question that I have for you, which is, you know, there's the sun path analysis. The structure is designed on the sun path analysis. Exactly. So, yeah. do I take it as, you know, I'm going to have... Uh, you know, ample amount of sunlight in my house. Exactly. It's going to be an ample amount of sunlight. Having said that, it is going to be a very natural light and not having the temperature being transferred into the building. Wow. That's amazing. So now to all of you out there, I would let ma'am. Thank you so very much for being here with us. And ladies and gentlemen, coming back to you, we have the ticket to Orega. And so if you ever wanted a complete natural life away from this hurly-burly city and the noise that it creates, the amid greenery that we can get for you is the ticket to Orega. So ladies and gentlemen, the abundance of greenery, I'm going to come back right in some time. I'm sure all of you have a lot of questions because you have definitely loved this project. If you have any questions, and I'm sure you do, so do not forget to mention it in the comment box and we here at the end of the session will definitely answer all of it. all those beautiful ladies and the very handsome gentlemen. We are moving ahead with our very next segment, the landscape architecture. To join us this morning, we have architect Charulata Rangarajan, the principal architect of Upasarg, who has over 20 years of experience and worked in both Indian and international projects. Upasarg's design philosophy is tandem with updated knowledge on material and technology, professional yet practical solutions, and close coordination to create landscape and design that are aesthetic and comfortable. Ladies and gentlemen, it takes my immense pleasure to call upon architect Charulata Rangarajan amongst us. And yes, ma'am, I also know that you believe in the extended living in the outdoor among the green spaces. 
I would love to hear, and also to all our beautiful ladies out there, are loving to have a beautiful home for themselves at the ticket to Oregon. Over to you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you very much for that nice introduction. So our office was commissioned to design this landscape architecture by Concord. And we went around the site, did our site analysis. It is very rare to come by a project which has got this beautiful, huge lake view. And another good combination is a 90% open space. So it was a delight for us to work on this project with our clients, Concord. And when we had our long discussions with them, we discussed and decided how we can seamlessly blend the architecture and the landscape, that is the building and the gardens together. So there is no hard differentiation between the building lines and the flowing landscape that we have achieved in this project. So how we can complement the architecture with landscape was the goal when we started working on the design. So when we started working on the concept for landscape design, we wanted to create an experience for the users here. An experience where people can stay physically comfortable, where they can have a visual appeal, and where they can have a mental peace with a serene background around. And we wanted to really promote a healthy and a sustainable campus in Origa here. So we went about working in detail and we started creating zones, various zones. So we have a beautiful grand entry which comes along Vista that terminates in a landmark clock tower which becomes a landmark of the project or landmark of the whole surrounding neighborhood as well. And then we have spaces like, you know, congregation spaces. If the society, the community wants to have a large gathering for a new year or a holy or a, a Ganesh Chaturthi kind of a festival bash, so we created lar a large expansive green lawns with an amphitheater where the community could congregate and uh, celebrate. And we have created also small party spaces for ladies' kitty party or a garden birthday party bash for kids. So these kind of smaller spaces are also there. And uh, for active people, we have uh, outdoor gym and cycling lanes and play courts like tennis court, a full basketball court, a futsal and the practicing cricket nets where they can keep their lifestyle really active. And for people who want a passive lifestyle, so there is wellness decks with yoga practice decks and meditation decks which is nested in a very quiet a uh, secluded zone, uh, there's going to be a lot of silence and then more appropriate for the kind of quiet activities, activities there. And we also have intimate and family zones like small gazebos by the poolside, near the drop-off, in, the, in between the gardens, so where a family can go sit peacefully, quietly and enjoy their evenings with their family, friends and extended, extended relatives. And some spaces are really open spaces and some are like semi-covered spaces and fully covered spaces. So the gardens can be used throughout the day, throughout the year, where you sit inside a covered gazebo and enjoy a drizzling evening in the Bangalore, or you can go out and fully immerse in yourself into the sun. And we do have the pool spaces, recreational spaces for the one uh, for all the age group, kids pool and the main pool, lap pool for serious swimmers. And one pool is located at the ground and the other pool is taken to the terrace top together with the clubhouse where you have a stunning view of the Bangalore East skyline there. And we have space for every age group as well. Uh, whether a small toddler wants to play in a safe environment or a grown-up child who wants to have the adrenaline rush with uh, uh, active uh, play equipment, which is also adventurous. So we do have a lot of visual interest in the landscape as well. So we have flower, flower bed, floral gardens, and we have artistic sculptures, and we have feature walls with vertical greens extending above, and we also have an experience of dry gardens. So by doing all this, we are trying to create various experiences through the landscape so it doesn't feel boring in the garden and one can spend any amount of time living outdoors. And coming to the uh, most important point that we have taken care in this project is to promote a healthy living. So we are using native, sustainable 
and trees that promotes or produces more oxygen to promote a healthy living within the campus. So for, in, for instance, we are using tall trees to cut the harsh sunlight from the west and we are using trees like uh, Arjuna trees or the neem trees or the pongamia trees which gives more oxygen, a lot of shade and uh, also make a sustainable green living within the campus. And at smaller level shrubs, we are using a lot of herbs, insect repellents kind of plants. So along with the other ornamental plants, so it gives a complete landscape with color, with shade, with green and makes a total lush green campus where everyone would love to live there. So that's that the project would be complete or the landscape design would be complete when people start coming out of their confined walls and start living outdoors and spend more time outdoors as well. So that's the goal we are trying to reach in this project. And that's what we have in landscape architecture. Indeed, it was so wonderful to hear the, you know, the tree deck that, that has been created and so many, I think, the landscape architecture has given us so many different amenities. And yes, you just cannot be confined in one space. You need to come out, enjoy the nature, and we are really, really glad for you to give us this kind of, you know, the ticket to Orega. And on that note, the ticket to Orega, I have a quick question on behalf of all of you to Manha. So ma'am, that I, I observe that, you know, you believe in more of, uh, you know, the green spaces, but designed with all the age groups. I would love to hear more about it and if you could elaborate. Why was it for all age groups? Because usually projects don't have that. Okay, well, um, we do have, we are going to have um, about 1,500 to 2,000 people living here and one would naturally expect uh, kids from two years old to 80 year old living in this project should enjoy the open spaces that's available to them. So for an example, a two to five year old have to play in a very safe, secluded environment and which is created within the uh, towers. And this we are calling it a tot lot area or a toddler's play area. And for a little grown up, say 10 year old, can go out and little more play with an adventurous play equipment. Whereas when it comes to a teenager, they would like to go and play the cricket in the nets or uh, kick a football in the futsal area. And for a young adult, we have a full basketball court and uh, tennis courts. And for people who would like to try their hand at golf, we have a golf putting lawn as well. Uh, so this kind of covers all the age group and people who are elderly people and fit people do have the cycling lanes on the outdoor gym facilities as well. And for people, elderly people, they need quiet spaces where they can go sit with a book or chit chat with a small, their age group of people, senior citizens. So we have that kind of small spaces, intimate spaces, more appropriate, quiet spaces designed for such people. And uh, wellness deck and yoga deck. And there are spaces like, you know, strolling pathways in the garden. And uh, the USP of this project, I would say, is an observation deck that is going to be built around a tree where when one can walk up to the canopy of a tree and uh, enjoy the birds singing and uh, look at the huge uh, lake view that is available to us. I'm sure most of us definitely want to hear, you know, have the deck, go on the deck with the tree and then listen to the chirping of the birds. That's yes, right. to on that note, to all those beautiful ladies, I'm sure you cannot wait to know more about the project and take your ticket to Orega. Ladies and gentlemen, I would extend a thank you for being here with us and giving us this entire info on the landscape architecture. Leia, thank you so very much for being here with us. It's our absolute <laughs> pleasure to work with Concord again and again. Thank, thank you, you very much. much. Yes, on that note, you have 90% natural air and 10% of design and structure. Why don't we just go have a natural lifestyle and start living with the ticket to Orega. And if you guys have any questions, we are right here to answer for you. So there is the box down there. Please go ahead, fill in your questions and make sure you are not missing out to know any further details of your ticket to Orega. Thank you.
after the wonderful tour of design, structure and the landscape architecture. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you cannot wait to get your ticket to Orega. And when can you avail it? Yes, there you go. Let's move to the technicalities and the delivery of your ticket to Orega. With over 25 years of experience, the man who commands an all-round respect for his engineering acumen. He has been instrumental in setting up the entire technical department and in adapting new construction technologies at Concord. He is the first one who involves in any project and handles over all the project management up to delivery. And if you need your ticket to Orega, ladies and gentlemen, we have with us the Vice President of Project, Mr. Ijaz Ahmed. A heartiest welcome to you, sir. Very indeed uh, glad to welcome. have you. Thank you very much and uh, welcome everybody. Good morning. Good morning to you, Good morning sir. To you. Yeah. So, over to you. Thank you. Yeah. As my architect and uh, landscape consultant might have briefed you uh, the entire project in terms of design, in terms of what we are making there, I think all of you might be quite sure of what we are actually making there. Now going back to the day when we visited the site, so all of us are of the same opinion that we will be doing a high rise building here. So that, keeping that concept in mind, we started developing on the project. Then we put this idea to our consultants this is the requirement of or this is our requirement that we have to do a high rise building with a lot of open spaces. So we hired some consultants for this project. InnoTech consultants are the structural consultants for this project. They have over 40 years of experience and they've done very complicated projects. And we have Design Tree as our MEP consultants who take care of the electrical, MEP, fire, and other aspects in the project. And we have a third party peer review consultant whom we, who's, uh, sorry, Strident uh, Technologies, who check the designs of the structural consultants. And I think you, you the, the Upasar landscape consultants had given the, uh, what you call, presentation just before uh, this, you might have got a very nice idea about what actually is coming up in the project. Now, going back to the design and the concept and vision what we had to do the high rise building then we started developing on the construction technology okay, how to deliver this project within timelines since it's a 26 27 28 floor building and we have a rooftop swimming pool on top so various brainstorming sessions were conducted what kind of technology to adopt then we freezed on doing aluminium shuttering form work which we have been doing for the last decade we have successfully completed two projects which were uh, Concord Manhattan's, we did almost 1.5 million square foot uh, executing with the same technology. And then we did Napa Valley, a villa project, first of its kind in India, almost 700 villas we completed in two years time. Now this is, this is with respect to the timelines in the project and the technology what we are going to use. Now apart from this, we are going to have cranes, we are going to have your, uh, what do you call, uh, lifts, material lifting, uh, shifting lifts, centralized yards and well-equipped labor colony. We are spending, uh, spending a huge amount of money on the labor colony by providing school to the labor children. We are providing midday meals, sewage treatment plant to the labor colony. This we are doing just to keep the labor interest in the project. So post-COVID, a lot of challenges in you know getting good labor and retaining them at sites. So we are trying to provide all this infrastructure at site to see that the labor stays with us and completes the project and then leaves the site. Then apart from this, now we are going to have well-experienced engineers at the project site. The choosing the right team for the project is very instrumental in the delivery of a project. So this is what we are doing. We already have a team at site, well-experienced engineers who have executed similar projects. And our in-house team is also very experienced and fit to carry out this job. And we are very, very confident about this. Now coming back to the specifications in the project, you know, like I think you all of you might have seen in the brochure, everything is there in the agreements and in the brochures. Some of the highlights of the specs, as we see, you know, we are going for 800 by 800 vitrified nanotechnology, technology vitrified tiles, double charge. It's very good finish. And uh, another highlight is all our windows and doors are much above the standard, industry standards for an apartment project. Our main entry is almost on nine and a half feet height with a one and a half feet door on top 
and all our internal windows and doors are eight feet high. Usually it is the seven feet normal, which is in the, across the standards in the industry. Apart from this, we are going for Jaguar thermostat controlled, uh, what do you call plumbing accessories, where you can set the temperature and you can take a bath. Maybe you want to set it at 20 degrees or 30 degrees or 35 degrees. So this is uh, very elegant styled uh, accessories which we are doing in this project, which is an upgradation actually. Apart from this, we are having glass railings in the balconies and you know many, many more features you might have seen in the brochure and our uh, agreements what we are having. These are some of the highlights what we are providing. Then going back to home automation, sorry, home automation, we, this every apartment will come with a home automation where this is hub controlled and it can be operated by your app wherever you are, whether you are in India, whether you are abroad, you can control all your lights, your uh, fans, your geysers, and uh, all such things. And it's open for upgradation. In future, you want to upgrade this to your, what do you call, uh, TVs, geysers, and um, uh, curtains. All this possibility is there. Apart from the home automation system, what we are providing for every apartment, we also have a robust surveillance system, security system for the entire community, wherein you'll have entry, exit, RFI cards, RFID cards and your entry and exit uh, even at the what do you call uh, lobby space in the elevators and in the apartment a biometric lock with fingerprint and uh, with the pin code and this will be provided for the main doors wherein uh, login and uh, exit everything can be digitally controlled and uh, our story sorry our uh, mantra for success have been you know, we spend a lot of time in planning, even during the design stage of a project, evaluating the risks, making the analysis, and uh, we do a lot of brainstorming at the design stage, what kind of technology to adopt, what kind of uh, methodology to adopt, what will be the materials used, who will be the contractors, who will be the consultants. So we spend a lot of time in planning all these aspects. So because we believe spending more time in planning reduces a lot of headaches later on. And we save a lot of time on the wastages, and we have a lot of control on the costing, our budgets, and the we will be very successful in keeping the schedules of the projects. So we believe we have to spend a lot of time in planning, and we have been doing this regularly with a lot of success. Thank you. Indeed, I'm sure that was a wonderful delivery that we will be sooner getting by 2024. So if you guys have already pre-booked your project, then nothing like it, because you are going to own the ticket to Orega. However, thank you so very much, sir. But I have a quick question to ask while you were speaking about the specifications. Uh, we usually see that there are only about seven feet doors for every apartment. But at Orega project, we have about nine feet doors. So what do you have to say about this? How does this benefit? See, while doing the brainstorming with my architect, we had a lot of uh, deliberations about whether to stick to the wall, seven feet standards as per industry standards. Since our floor heights are a little bit more higher than the, compared to many of the apartment projects, then we thought okay, we are going to give nine and a half feet main door, wherein the eight feet, wherein eight feet will be the panel and one and a half feet will be the doors. This is keeping in mind the ventilation and air circulation, which our architect uh, and the team have, you know, developed. I think she has given a very wide range of, uh, Indeed, in her presentation, she has covered that area, system. correct? Yes. So then we are going for eight feet for the bedrooms and toilet, and even the windows will be eight feet high. This adds to the entire ambience of the flat. And secondly, it makes the space more open, it looks uh, more, the, spacious. The more spacious, more spacious. Yeah. You'll have higher curtains, more ventilation. Yeah. So we can that is the reason, though we are incurring a little bit more cost, we thought this will provide it in this project. Thank you so very much for being here with us, sir. Indeed, it was a pleasure to have you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank Ladies you. and gentlemen, that was the Vice President of Projects, Mr. Ajaz Ahmed with us. And yes, like I mentioned before, if you want your ticket to Orega, then nothing like it. And if you also have your questions, then you need to give us your questions and write there in the comment section. We will surely be answering all of your questions. Unlike any other house, I'm sure all those ladies out there want to make a home. Then why not? Ticket to Orega at Concord. Thank you.
It's time to pamper yourself and experience an opulent world of inspired living. Concord Origa brings your dream residence to life with high-end Jaguar fittings. Presenting the complete bathroom solutions from Jaguar. In the shower area, we offer you the latest in technology and advanced thermostatic features. You will enjoy flawless, unmatched and highly durable fittings that make your world super luxurious. The sanitary wear is ergonomically designed, top-of-the-line fittings, which is passed through stringent quality parameters. We at Concord have partnered with a global leader, Jaguar, to offer our esteemed customers complete bathroom solutions that are reliable, efficient, safe and world-class. So now comes the most exciting part of the e-launch, the unveiling of the miniature model. Ladies and gentlemen, I now request Mr. Anil and Ms. Grishma, the executive directors of Concord, to do the honors. And nothing like it, because we are going to be unveiling the ticket to Orega. Over to you, sir. Welcome to Concord Orica. I would now like to invite Mr. Anil, the Executive Director of Concord, to present us Concord Orega. A heartiest welcome to you, sir. Thank you. It would be a pleasure that you take us through the ticket to Orega. Sure. Thank you so very much. Thank Over you. to you. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Good morning. My name is Anil. I'm the Executive Director of Concord Group. Welcome to Concord Orega. First of all, I would like to tell you why we have named this project as Orega. Origa refers to constellations, uh, three, uh, three stars. If you look at our project, we have three good buildings which are stitched, to, to, which are stitched together. That is the reason why we have named as Origa. And when we wanted to plan this project, we had a couple of things in our mind. One is openness. So if you look at the entire project, this is a five acre development, out of which my, the entire uh, uh, building is sitting on 10% of the area. So we have close to around 90% of the open spaces. Now coming back to the location, we have a lot of advantages of the location. It's 35 minutes from the 35 minutes to the airport from this location and there's a lot of uh, commercial activities. It's 10 minutes for a care from metro station and there are a lot of schools and a lot of commercial establishments going on in this location. Coming back to the project, this is a GPS 28 floors. Couple of uh, highlights of the project is we have 65 plus amenities. I would like to touch upon few amenities. We have futsal, a mini futsal. We have um, swimming pool and we have a golf pudding. These are a few highlights of the amenities. Now, let me take you inside the project. The clubhouse, we have called it as Concord Evolve. It's located in 28 and 29th floor. On 28th floor, we have badminton, 
we have 75 seater home theater where people can come and enjoy in in the evenings and on 29th floor we have a infinity pool located and we have a viewing deck where this pool opens up to the lake so these are the key amenities of our project i invite you all to come and experience life at concord origa thank you What our proud homeowners have to say about Concord Orega. Hello everyone. Actually, we are looking for luxurious features apartment in Bangalore. Luckily, we found Arga, which provides my dream home, along with the lake view and more than what we are looking for. I wish this is going to be one of the big project in Bangalore. Thanks to Concord. We are very happy with the new home we purchased at Concord Orega. The Concord team has been very helpful. in giving us a perfect fit for our needs we wanted a non compromise home in our budget thank you concord group for giving us orega with a beautiful home amazing amenities and large open spaces so after a lot of house hunting we have finally decided to book the concord orega uh, majorly because of the location and the sheer appreciation and price that it will offer within a few years What I really like about the project is that they are offering a promise of 90% open space, and also I feel the layout which they are offering for the house is uh, pretty good as compared to the other offerings that we saw. So I can clearly say that it is our dream house. I wanted to buy a flat at prime location with good amenities and something within my budget. I searched many projects, but something was not going right. and finally my search ends at concord orica this particular project you know it's at a prime location with the world class amenities and it's a lake view apartment so thank you so much concord group and i'm really happy with my choice hi so we are a proud uh, customer of concord orica so for a long time we were looking for a perfect dream home and finally concord orica was with us with the uh, uninterrupted lake view a lot of amenities and a perfect pricing also the people of concord orega made everything every process hassle free and easy for us and thank you we were in search of for dream home for many years when we looked at the arigwa property we really liked it all the amenities you get in the single umbrella you really need not to go outside to enjoy it i feel like uh, orega is not just about buying a home it's about buying a lifestyle and we are very excited for our dream house and become part of our family. family
If you have any questions, please put them in the comment section below and all of your questions will be rightly answered at the end of this session. Head of Marketing Concord to address all of us present here. A heartiest welcome to you, sir. Thank you. For we are glad to have you. Over to you. Hello, everyone. Thank you for your time and presence today. We are overwhelmed with the response that we have received for Concord Orega. It just reinforces our confidence to deliver homes. On behalf of the entire team at Concord, I would like to thank all the stakeholders internally and externally to have carved this piece of marvel. Concord together would like to thank all the homeowners of Orega to have bestowed their confidence in us. And I assure you, we will live up to the experience. I once again welcome you to Concord to have an experience for life. Thank you. <music>